124 years old Victoria Bridge is a colonial era bridge located in central Perak, Malaysia, connecting both banks of Perak River. Victoria Bridge is a marvel of its time. Opened in 1900, it was the largest public project in Malaya when it was opened and carried the trains over Perak River for 100 years. Why did the colonial government spend so much money to build a bridge high above the Perak River? Let's walk onto the steel historic bridge and understand of the need of building a railway bridge across Perak River. After the colonization of Perak by the British in the year 1875, British encouraged the opening of the new tin mines to fulfill the high demand of tin in the global market. As a result, the tin mining activities intensified in Kamunting. However, Larut River is too small to allow large barges to carry the tin ore from the mines to Port Belt. Therefore, the boats that carry the tin ore were replaced by the trains. The first railway line in Malaysia operated between Taiping to Port Weld, today Kuala Sepetang, opened on the 1st of June 1885. Perak State Railways was established in 1885 to connect the towns, tin mines and newly opened rubber estates. By 1895, there were two major rail lines in Perak between Port Weld, today Kuala Sepetang and Ulu Sepetang and between Teluk Anson, today Teluk Intan to Ipoh. Single truss steel bridges were enough to bridge the narrow and winding rivers, not so with the wide and flood prone Perak River. Before the introduction of a railway, river was the main way of transportation between towns and villages. Major cities are located near the river. Taiping near Larut River, Kuala Kangsa and Teluk Intan by the Perak River and Ipoh near Kinta River. With the introduction of the trains, railway took over the river as the main way of transporting goods and people. Railway opened up new lands for plantations such as coffee, tapioca and most lucrative, rubber. Other than rubber and tin, there are two essential goods that carried by rail, super essential. Rice imported from Siam was taken by rail southwards and kerosene together with the other foodstuffs. I talked about Thailand's Southern Railway in the previous video when I travelled from Kuala Lumpur to Bangkok via Sungai Golok by rail, very far away. If you want to watch this video, the link is right here right above. Railways are concentrated on the west coast away from the coastal area by design. The primary reason is to support the extraction of natural resources in the newly opened interior land. The priority of extraction over industrial development was due to Malaya's position as periphery of British Empire's economy in the Wallerstein world systems. At first, a pontoon bridge was built to connect the east and the west bank of Perak River because it was cheaper than building a permanent bridge. When the pontoon bridge was washed away after a flood in 1897, a decision was made to build a permanent bridge to allow the trains to move in all weather conditions, shine or rain. The bridge was designed with six steel trusses supported by five brick pillars. The construction started in 1897 with a cost of 325,000 straight settlement dollars. It was the largest public project in Malaya at its time. In a time where a worker's wage was only about 35 to 45 cents daily. When the bridge was under construction, Perak River water level rose again during a flood. Thus, the bridge was built 40 feet or 12 meters above the normal water level. That explains why the bridge is so tall. To avoid the bridge collapse if the bridge was submerged underwater uh, when the water level rose during a flood. The construction of the bridge was completed in 1900 and the bridge was opened in the same year. 
The bridge was officiated by Sultan of Perak, Sultan Idris Murshidul Azam Shah and the Governor General of the Federated Malay States, Sir Frank Athelstan Sweetenham. The newly christened bridge was named as Victoria Bridge, named after Queen Victoria who reigned United Kingdom, the Commonwealth members and the colonies. Queen Victoria passed away in 1901, just a year after the namesake bridge was opened. In the same year of 1901, Perak State Railway was consolidated with the rest of government-owned railways in Malaya to become Federated Malay States Railway or FMSR. FMSR is the precursor of Malayan Railway which is today Kereta Api Tanah Melayu or KTM. Victoria Bridge became the important bridge to link not only both banks of Perak River but bridging the gap between the North, the Central and the South. The bridge held the title as the longest railway bridge in the country for 24 years. In 1924, Gilma Bridge, built near Kusial Tanah Merah, Kelantan, was open to the rail traffic. With a length of 660 meters, Gilma Bridge is serving the KTM East Coast Line. It is, is in the present tense because the bridge is still in operation up to this day. I talked about Express Rakyat Timuran in the previous video where this train is the last sleeper train in Malaysia and the only express train that is using the Gilma Bridge still in use. If you want to know more about the last express train in Malaysia, the link to watch this video is right here above. Train passed through Victoria Bridge carried the passengers and all sorts of goods. In 1905, FMSR carried 1,193,710 uh, bags of rice, 294,024 slabs of tin, 1,332,991 bags of tin ore, 598,749 tins of kerosene, and 68,182 pigs. Today, pigs are no longer on the rail. They are on the road, speeding and driving irresponsibly. Railway are profitable as it was the default way to travel more than 20 miles and carrying goods that is too heavy for a bullock cart and too much for a lorry. Automobile was a rarity in the early 20th century thus Victoria Bridge is one of the most in critical infrastructure that Malaya ever had. The bridge was destroyed during World War II when the bridge was destroyed in 1941 by the retreating British army to stop the Japanese army advance southward to the whole Malaya. The bridge was repaired by the local laborers under Japanese orders with 55 cents daily wage. As trains become the main long distance travel mode in the early and mid 20th century, imagine how many renowned personalities travel on this bridge en route to their destination. After Malaya achieved the independence in 1957, Victoria Bridge remained in use for another 43 years. With the progress of time, Victoria Bridge is started to age and no longer suitable for more modern trains. Therefore, another bridge is needed to replace Victoria Bridge. Why is Victoria Bridge no longer in use? One. Old bridge is no longer suitable and safe for heavier cargo trains. Larger bulk wagons and containerization caused the cargo tonnage to be heavier than the wagons in the early 20th century. 2. Single track on Victoria Bridge limited the daily frequency and maximum operation speed of the train because 3. The bridge started to age as steel rivets and wooden rail sleepers are difficult if not too expensive to replace. Therefore, a new concrete railway bridge was built next to Victoria Bridge and opened in the year 2001. The concrete bridge allows the electrification of the track, double tracking and heavier cargo loads while allowing trains to cross Perak River at 140 km per hour maximum operation speed. However, uh, Victoria Bridge fell into disrepair as the old bridge no longer carries the train. Between 2014 and 2015, Victoria Bridge has been restored and opened to the pedestrian after the installment of safety features such as railings and nets. 
Today, Victoria Bridge becomes the tourist attraction in Ungo, where it continues to be used by the locals on foot and by motorcycle. Unlike walking on a sturdier concrete bridge, Victoria Bridge is swaying a little as it was made of steel and swaying reduced the steel tension. There are kids who are definitely more excited when there is a train nearing the new bridge than I do. If you want to visit Victoria Bridge, the bridge is located at Ungo, about 10 km northeast of Kuala Kangsa. The nearest town with railway station and bus station is Kuala Kangsa, the royal town of Perak. By private vehicle, drive via Route 1 and heading towards Ungo town. As in August 2024, the main road is closed due to the landslide and the alternative road to Victoria Bridge is via a road to Kampung Loh. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about the Victoria Bridge and its legacy as the second longest steel rail bridge in Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching again and see you in the next video.